Hey, what's up everyone? This is Aaron Packer from ShoppingLocal.net, Facebook advertising agency. And I have White Lace Bridal Girls here with me today. And we want to go over some different things, talking about social media strategy. But before we get there, I want to talk about their shop a little bit in lieu of being prom season and some different things like that. So uh, maybe you guys can tell me, you know, say your names, basic things like that. And then, you know, kind of why you guys decided to start uh, White Lace Bridal. Well, I'm Carrie, and I'm one of the co-owners here at White Lace Bridal. And I'm Jody. I'm the other owner. I'm Abby. I'm a consultant here. Mm -hmm. And um, we opened our business in March of 2016. Um, so we've been going on our fourth year here. And um, we opened the store basically because we both have been brides. And we have realized that there's nothing in Indiana. And we are a specialty store that brings, you know, brides to us and try to keep people local from going to, like, you know, driving an hour away because it is a process. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's prom season coming up, so do you guys have anything going on for prom season? Yeah, we have um, prom gowns in store, and then we also have prom tuxedo rentals. Um, and we have two specials going on right now for tuxedo rentals, and they are, um, Abby can tell us what they are, right? So if you get your dress here, you can get $30 off your tuxedo, or we have two specials that are $99 tuxedos. Awesome. I actually have my wife with me today. She's behind the camera, so I didn't get to actually take you to prom. You want to go to prom with me? <laughs> <laughs> and of all days, if we go to a bridal shop and I forget my wedding, <laughs> so blame it on the gym. <laughs> no, that's awesome though. But I, I noticed you guys are also uh, doing some social stuff on social media, some Facebook ads and things like that. You guys tell me about maybe what some of the biggest challenges are that you guys found whenever you were building your brand online whenever it comes to social media? Um, just getting the word out there that we exist has been the biggest challenge, I think. Um, social media is great and it's taken us to the next level, but I think that we still need, you know, further platforms to make us more um, visible. You know, radio and paper kind of is a thing of the past and all everybody getting married now is like in social media. So um, we've taken the step to kind of put us on some social media platforms to help keep consistently posting, but I know it's still a struggle to get exactly the right customer at the right time. Yeah, for sure. What other platforms do you guys think you want to get on? Um, well, we have Instagram and we struggle with the whole Snapchat thing, I think, just because it's a right now kind of thing and, you know, we're a little bit older, we hadn't grew up with Snapchat, so we're still struggling with that whole thing. But, um, and Twitter, we kind of take to the Twitter thing too a little bit, but it's finding, we're trying to find where most of the people are at. Yeah. how to get there. Yeah, where do you guys have the most traction so far, just in your opinion, out of which platform? I'd probably say Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's not surprising. I mean, yeah. because there's most people, the most user on, users are on Facebook yeah. compared to any other platform. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I noticed you guys were also doing some Facebook ads as well. So there's organic traffic and then there's paid traffic. And I saw some of you girls, or you girls are doing some paid traffic as well. Mm -hmm. Have you guys had good results with your paid traffic? Yeah, I think so. Um, we have trunk shows that we have in every, um, season with the designers and we boost those events you know with the paid advertising and stuff like that and we tend to book our a lot of our appointments through that Facebook advertising because awesome. we get further out in the area that's awesome mm -hmm. and have you guys ever tried targeting uh, Ashley and I were talking on the way over here what's some national uh, stores that are like nearby maybe in Altoona or Greensboro it was an MB Bride did you say it was one um, or, David's Bridal. Or David's Bridal. David's Bridal. Okay. Yeah. So David's Bridal is in, is it in Greensboro? There's that, Monroeville. You can actually use them as a target and you can set in your interest targeting to target people who have an interest in David's Bridal. Okay. Or what's another one, and what was the one in Altoona we were talking about? That was the chain, David's Bridal. David's yeah, Bridal. I guess you're right. There's one in Altoona as well. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're, the, they're they're were, well, the other ones were just local yeah. shops. I got you. I got you. But I think there's any national chain if they're big enough and they have a big enough presence, you could set them in your interest targeting whenever you're running those boosted posts or those ads itself, and it can actually go out to people that have an interest. They already did the like, work of building those audiences, so you can actually drop your ads right down in front of your competition, which is pretty cool, right? Yeah. And then you can also target people that, have, uh, that are engaged. I don't know if you guys have done that. Did you guys try that? I have. Yeah, I have kind of played with the whole target market thing just Good. because I've seen it there and kind of was like, well, let's try this. Um, not only do we have like the bridal store, but we also have a huge present on Etsy and with our invitation nice. store. So Jody is the graphic designer behind all of that. And so for some of those ads, 
I pick like, you know, a target market for just invitations versus girls looking for bridal gowns and stuff like that. Is there anything else that you guys are doing that might be kind of exceptional to the area compared to like something like a David's Bridal or, or something like that? Um, I think that we have that one-on-one -on -one experience that kind of we take pride in um, trying to create more of an intimate setting for our brides versus you know the David's Bridal is kind of like the superstore bridal store where you know it's you're in you're out you don't get that one-on-one -on -one bridal experience where we don't overbook we kind of make sure that we have a one-on-one -on -one consult with our girls you know and we block the appropriate amount of time to meet with those girls so we find that people are shopping more for the experience, not necessarily the dress. So we're trying to bring that here and make us stand out versus going to one of those places. Awesome, awesome. Well, I, do you guys have anything else you guys want to add? I mean, before we just kind of wrap everything up? I think so. Do you guys have anything? Easy peasy. That was done. <laughs> hey, thanks again, guys. I appreciate you jumping on with us, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you guys after prom season. <laughs> so. yeah.